Hello everybody, Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and today we have the Bay Channel releasing right on the day. If you guys saw my last reaction video, it was Guts vs. Dimitri. It came out on YouTube today, and I was watching, I had to upload it obviously after it released to the public, but I watched it, you know, because I had a Rooster Teeth subscription, and it was amazing. It was easily one of my favorite episodes of all time in Death Battle. I don't normally don't upload Death Battle reactions, but that I had to upload. It was my favorite matchup of all time. I got into Berserk more into it because I really wanted to love this matchup. And I couldn't just be biased towards Dimitri. I had to give him a lot of love and understanding of Berserk and all its characters from Serpico, Casca, Griffith, unfortunately, uh, Zod, uh, Guts himself, Puck. But uh, yeah, really so happy to, uh, that matchup happened, you know, and reignited my love for Three Houses as a whole. I mean, it, and it's just great. But yeah, let's go. Let's start reacting to this new fake channel. Choose your legends. Here we go. Summoners. You didn't think I forgot, did you? As promised, it's time The sun looks very beautiful there. CYL2023. Let's go. Let's get started. We also got some dragon flower increases from what it seems. Ta da! The heroes you selected in Choose Your Legends Round 7 are finally here! All dressed up! We're definitely gonna be getting uh, an engaged sweep I'm next year. That's probably good. The votes are gonna be a lot more. Alright, well, they're then. gonna start with females. I yep. am certain now that the path I chose was correct. Corin is the second place winner of the women's division. Yep, and there Dressed she is. Guard from Vala, she's ready to no, Faye, don't say that. Protect her companions. Uh, I thought we're gonna get a. Uh... Oh no, no, it's probably Corin's gonna be Goldegg's uh, artist then. It reduces all of her opponent's stats and can reduce the damage what she takes the by thirty percent. I bless this. Kind of crazy that Camilla still isn't the only one with like a special, unique skill of sorts. Out of everyone. Okay. What? Look very strange. What oh, a new gameplay mechanic? They apply special effects to spaces. Oh my god, but yeah, it's very much engage inspired. What the heck? That's fucking busted. What? And just like it just it's like a, its own little tower of sorts. Realms United can count. Oh my god! She can counter attack balls from a distance. Combine that with her beast. What the heck kind of beast skill is that? And she has plenty of options. I'm guessing it's like a chill attack speed increase, but only for pouring. Not only that, but her counter attacks will hit harder the more damage she takes. Damn. So many skills built around protecting her allies. Classic Corin, if you ask me. Oh yeah, so she is the colorless unit for this one. Oh, we're, okay, second place for men's. We're gonna get Sorin. I'm guessing he's green. Yep. Sorin is the second place winner of the men's division. He's dressed as an artist. And he's got Kita Senri, the original artist for uh, Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance. Magic around him. Sorin's weapon skill is Arch Sage Tome. Which strengthens nearby allies and grants an assigned decoy effect to them. Okay. Allies with assigned decoy can activate the savior effect against foes with the same range. What? That means you have like infantry farce, like close saver far save units. And reduces damage Technically, taken. in that way, I so guess. Rest easy if there's an ally nearby. That's Sorry, actually kind of crazy because if you have like an infantry unit. Talent. That is like it very bulky and also very speedy. They could just immediately go after. That's like actually kind of crazy. When he initiates combat, or when his foe has an attack range of two spaces. Wow. His special skill, flare. A again, another engagement spider one. Resistance stat to the damage he deals if his HP is seventy percent or higher. If his HP is lower than seventy percent. He can instead add 40% of his foe's resistance stat to his damage, and heal him for 30% of his maximum HP. Wow, so he can switch between the two. Good use of okay. Allies. Oh, I expect nothing less from Sorin. 
Ruin's first place, it's Golveg. My purpose is to bring ruin. What? Golveg is the first place winner of the women's division. Wow, she's you could tell that she's got that uh just like Beyond Seer beyond time. Wearing something that reminds her of the past. Yeah, she's definitely wearing uh Sether's uh stuff. It grants up to plus 15 attack and speed, oh, she's blue. Okay. depending on the number of turns passed. The damage she deals is also increased by 20% of her speed stat, so she'll be able to dish out consistent damage to her foes. And it's got Kanto, wow. Her exclusive B skill gold is gold unwinding. When she has half or more of her HP remaining and she initiates combat, she can reduce the damage she takes from the foe's first attack by 60%. What the On top hell? of that, she can also take an extra action once every two turns. Her A skill, Flare Sparrow, increases her attack and speed when she initiates combat. Divine Vein. Oh my god, there's gonna be more uh, Vein skills. I guess it's gonna be like a whole new thing. I wonder if they're gonna. Since they're adding these new things to the game, I wonder if they're gonna also start adding like. Uh, hand to hand combat units. Because that's like the only thing that's really missing. Yeah, the vein, vein stuff is kind of crazy. It's a new addition. And finally, we are red. It's going to be Levin Sword Robin. But also my setbacks. A what? Yeah, that's not Levin Sword, but still, this looks pretty cool. Does the Exalt's tactician have a special outfit? But he's also wielding a sword given to him by Grom. Robin's weapon skill is Deliverer's Brand. If his HP is 25% or higher... Damn, that means we still... I, I, I don't know what they could do for uh, Robin. Like, there hasn't been 11 sword users. On top of that, if he activates glowing... Rally Spectrum, wow. ...or Ignis, special skills which normally deal additional damage based on defense... Then the damage will be calculated based on the lower of his foe's defense or resistance. His B skill, Gambit 4, can both increase the damage he deals with his special by up to 15, and reduce his foe's damage by up to 50%. It pairs very nicely with his weapon skill. Robin's tip the scales. B skill is Tip the Scales. At the start of the turn, he applies Rally Spectrum to himself, and allies within two spaces. If an ally with Rally Spectrum is within five spaces, he can move what? next to them. That is Rally crazy. All stats and reduces special cooldown count before an attack. Robin sure knows how to nudge the odds in his favor. That's the Exalt Tactician for you. And that's all for introductions. The heroes chosen in Choose Your Legends Round 7 will appear in the new hero summoning event, Turn of Fate, beginning on August 16th. On top of that, we get our free you'll be able hero, to summon yeah. a free focus hero after 40 summons in the new hero summoning event. And you can do it again after 80, 120, and 160 summons too. That's up to four free focus heroes. Oh, and of course... Our grand hero battle unit? Oh, a free summon event. There will be a free summoning event this year too, during which you can summon a five-star hero of your choice. Yeah, that's obviously the, the usual. That reminds me, the Keepers of Faith free summoning event, featuring heroes from the Choose Your Legends Round Five event, will end on August thirtieth. Don't forget to take okay. advantage of that free. I mean, I already summon. got it, so I picked Gatekeeper. Say. Don't we have a grand hero battle coming up? Oh my fucking god. Yeah! The grand hero this time is Cyril from the Fire Emblem Three Houses game. With archery skills, oh my distaste for Cyril. Grand hero battle Cyril, Rhea's attendant, begins on August 17th. And our dragon flowers are going to be increasing. So many new effects, so many unique and exclusive skills. I wish I were that cool. Anyway, we still need Faye and Faye. Let's 
playable character. No more April Fool's jokes. Yep. So, yeah, we're going to be getting 25 times, so I'm gonna definitely going to try increasing Camilla. Well, all the Camillas, actually, that I have up to max. Since you'll be able to strengthen heroes more times with dragon flowers, there will be 1,000 of each type up for grabs in the next forging box. Okay. That's a total of 4,000 dragon flowers. Sounds like your heroes could get quite a bit stronger. Yay! Hey, it's almost sunset. I better get back to the castle. And would you look at that? Everyone's gathered here! Oh, and guess what else? To celebrate the appearance of the Choose Your Legend series, Asker Asker's there's a time special story for you to enjoy. There's a link to it in the video description. Oh, so, so we're gonna get some time screwing up shenanigans. Okay. Yeah, yeah Goldbeck is gonna be doing that. The Choose Your Legends heroes all look amazing though, don't they? I'm so excited! I hope you summon us I think, I think I thought we were going to get a... Uh... Fire Emblem Heroes through the Askrin Summer. Now then, uh, be on my way. My browser froze? Faye. <sighs> She's going to sleep. Now then, oh, there we go. There we go. Wait. All set. Plate. Okay, for a second I thought that played over again. I was like, wait, did Goldeg literally try scrambling time in the middle of the video? <laughs> anyways. Uh, thank you all so much. And there it is right there. <laughs> top, top right. Uh, anyways, thank you all so much for watching this uh, reaction video to the uh, new Choose Your Legends heroes. Gonna be really excited and I'm probably going to reveal who I'm gonna be going for. Obviously, when uh, it comes out. We already saw that it's going to be coming out. So, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. And I'll, I promise I'm going to be getting to, down to, to Fire Emblem Awakening soon. I'm also going to be explaining uh, something uh, in the last few episodes that uh, occurred. But yeah, we'll see you guys then.